Usually fractions aren't fun, but at the end of this video, that will change. Take the example 6 twelfths. Immediately you will want to divide by 2. Great, your answer is 3 sixths, right? But did you see that it is not in its smallest form? We can divide even further if we divide by 3 again. The problem with this method is that it takes too long. To help you simplify fractions like a pro, you are going to switch up the way you think. Imagine you're a wizard or witch where magic is all about numbers, especially fractions. Your mission is to simplify fractions and unlock the secrets of an ancient spellbook. Fractions are magical objects. Some are big and bulky, like six twelfths, and some are small and simple, like a half. Your goal is to transform the bulky objects into simple forms using magical math skills. Let's start with magic math skill one, the HCF wand. Your magic wand for this mission is called the highest common factor, HCF. It's a powerful tool that finds the biggest number that can magically divide both the top number, the numerator, and the bottom number, the denominator of a fraction. The bulky fraction, 9 fifteenths must be simplified. Your wand, the HCF, reveals that 3 is the biggest number that can divide both parts equally. Moving on to Magic Math Skill 2, the simplification spell. With your highest common factor, it's time to cast your spell. Wave your wand and whisper the magic words, simplify. Both the top and bottom of the fraction will now divide by the highest common factor. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. So, 9 fifteenths simplifies to 3 fifths. Remember, simplifying fractions means turning the fraction into its smallest form. Recap the steps with me. Step 1. Identify the highest common factors the numerator and denominator share. Step 2. Divide the numerator and denominator both by the highest common factor. However, if you get a bulky fraction like this, 20 thirtieths, you can see that they share the following common factors, 1, 2, 5 and 10. As 10 is the highest common factor of both 20 and 30, dividing the top and bottom by 10 will give you 2 thirds, simplifying it completely. Tip of the day. Always find the highest common factor to ensure a fully simplified fraction. Otherwise, you have to do more working steps, which could lead to mistakes. I think you are ready to pause this video and give these examples a go. How did you do? If you need to sharpen your skills on highest common factors or simplifying fractions, check out these videos from our Fuse School Library. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe to help us reach 1 million subscribers.